Longevity Plus would like to thank you for joining our webinar today. Dr. Gary Gordon is an expert on nutrition, mineral metabolism, and anti-aging. He is a consultant to Longevity Plus, where he is responsible for designing effective natural supplements that help to support optimal health. Today, Dr. Gordon will be discussing pulsed electromagnetic field therapy. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Dr. Gary Gordon. Welcome back, everyone. Today is going to be really a prelude to a continuation next week where we'll spend a good deal of time with a surprise speaker that I'm adding to the end of today just so that you will stay tuned for further developments. When you look at American health today, there is not a family that you can visit that doesn't have someone with a chronic health problem. Whether it's diabetes or obesity or cancer or heart disease, it makes no difference. We as a nation are very sick and it is not just America. So when you start to put the pieces together, you can really try to decide. If you become a world-class nutritionist, you could think, well, maybe everybody would be much healthier if we gave more vitamin C, and I can prove that is true because there are mentors in my life, like Linus Pauling, Erwin Stone, and Dr. Belfield, and Dr. Cathcart, and Matthias Rath, and now Dr. Tom Levy. These are people who've really studied vitamin C. Now, if you look at this slide, 10 Americans, you'll have no trouble knowing that every one on the planet ever tested will fail this test. Everyone has carcinogens, neurotoxins, and endocrine disruptors. And since we can measure how much vitamin C is in your urine, I can prove that when you have a lot of vitamin C in the urine, it doesn't go out alone. It's a chelating substance similar to the other weak organic acid called acetic acid, EDTA, that I have treated 10 million people with both intravenously and orally. So where are we going to put our emphasis? Is our emphasis in trying to achieve our God-given right to optimum health and the right to live to our maximum intended useful lifespan? Are we going to emphasize putting in enough of the good nutrients, whether it's vitamin C or D or selenium or omega-3, or are we going to get more involved in getting the bad stuff out? If you pay attention to this slide, you will see the answer. <clears throat> Basically, we're stuck doing both. But if you don't do something to get the bad stuff out, the toxins, the dioxins, the PCBs, the lead, the mercury, the cadmium, if you don't do something to get the bad stuff out, putting the best vitamins and minerals and herbs and amino acids and fatty acids into your body will not achieve their maximum potential to allow you to be as healthy as I am amazingly feeling at age 76. So if we move on, today we have a lot of exciting slides, but I'm going to kind of titillate your imagination by having you understand that only with the magnetic field of the earth would any of our vitamins do anything for you. If you move to Mars, no vitamin will do anything for you because Mars lost its magnetic shield and we are losing ours. So I believe in supplements and I take a huge number of them every day, but they didn't do for me what they're doing for me now that I've raised my transmembrane potential. It's like you plugged me into the wall and recharged me like a Chevy Volt car. But the sad thing is, it's kind of expensive to figure out how am I going to raise everybody's membrane potential so that everyone spending good money researching what supplements to take is getting the full bang for our buck. 
because all of us are here for a reason and we need to have the greatest health and energy possible in order to achieve what we're meant to do in this lifetime. And having all of these chemicals that we prove when you put in the word 10 Americans on Google, you can learn in great detail. But now we have all our military coming back from the theaters in Iraq and Afghanistan. And now we find they have additional toxins above and beyond what they had when we sent them off to war. Because living in America, or frankly, if you live at the Arctic or the Antarctic, you cannot avoid the polybrominated diphenyl ether called flame retardant. And you cannot avoid the lead and mercury that goes up in the air when we burn coal to, produ to produce electricity. So everyone on planet Earth, in my scientific professional opinion, is not operating at or near your optimal level. And so this is going to have a lot to do with people that are athletes. Because if we let athletes have a really good treatment with PEMF, you will see that we have many athletes who have recovered after serious injuries when they thought they would never be an active athlete again because of serious injuries, but yet having access to enough PEMF treatment. And what's enough treatment? Well, as you're going to hear from our surprise guest today, Dr. Kim Skunkweiler is going to teach you that using as little as two and three treatments a week for five and six weeks for as little as 10 and 12 minute intervals he is doing miracles. So maybe, just maybe, there's a need today for us to fight back against this toxic air pollution and these other pollutants. Maybe we have to figure out how to share a leasable PEMF $20,000 machine that leases for $488 a month with two or three other people so that all of us have access to it for a part of each week or a part of each month so that you can achieve more effective use of your supplements because many of us spend a lot of money on our supplements and we need them for our cancer and our heart disease and our Alzheimer's and our chronic fatigue and our autism and our ADHD and our obesity. We need these supplements but we need to help the supplements to be metabolized and with the Earth's magnetic field down to 1% of what it was, you are not getting the full bang for these expensive supplements. So this is a need that's much greater than having tanning parlors throughout the United States. We need to have magnetic spas throughout the United States where everybody can come in and for perhaps as little as $25, $35, or $40 a session recharge their life. So we're all facing a power failure. And I know that when I took my eighth intravenous chelation therapy some 35 years ago, my power came back. I had never, for my first 30 plus years of life, been able to go up a flight of stairs without getting short of breath. And in fact, I could no more climb up the side of a 2,000-foot mountainside than fly to the moon. But after the eighth chelation, I could do it. And now everyone who can combine some of the powerful vitamin C, zeolite, oral chelation, fiber, the greens, and the other things that I teach on my fight program, on my website, if you want to know, I was doing pretty good before I found PEMF. I was doing better at autoimmune disease, heart disease, cancer, autism than my colleagues because I always said everything I'm treating is multifactorial. You have a food sensitivity in virtually everyone today, partly because of GMO foods. We all need acidophilus. We all need fiber. And we all need to have a very, very widely varied diet. So the poisons that are in one food, I don't care if you're living on soy, it will finally poison you, and I don't care if you're living on rutabagas, which would be normally pretty safe. But if you live on just one food, you will get sensitive to it because we've got to realize our body is not operating optimally, and my job 
is to have all of you know how to restore your God-given power. And that lies at the heart of cancer and autism and all these diseases. And we can absolutely dramatically improve any one of these so-called impossible conditions when we use good common sense, which is my food infection, genetics, heavy metal hormone toxin program. But what I'm teaching you today is that anyone on earth, no matter where they live, is having some of these symptoms, back pain, chronic headaches, dizziness, insomnia. And these symptoms are tied now to not just the nutritional implication. We all know we eat the wrong foods. We don't eat a varied enough diet. We don't raise our own food. We don't get organic. And many of us are taking some supplements that is at least helping, without a doubt. But if we look at magnetic deficiency syndrome, you'd understand that by restoring magnetic energy, now how are we going to do that? Well, I will mention at the end that Dr. Barnley has made arrangements for people to spend up to $3,600 for 400 pounds of magnets to put between the top and the bottom mattress where you sleep. So that each pad is 100 pounds, each pad is about $900, and you can definitely see benefits, in fact, after a year, people with calcification of their coronary vessels that was not responding to other treatments miraculously saw that calcium starting to go away. Of course, I have everybody on vitamin K2 in my oral chelation, but it's good to know that when nothing else worked, adding magnetic, just the pad. And remember, the pad, sleeping on, even though it's $3,600 to have the four pads you need for a king-size bed to get 20, 20 gauss, that is still 20 gauss, and with the machine that we're talking about today, you're getting 19,000 gauss, so we're using it for therapy to kind of recharge your life. So why do we need magnetism? Well, it's as basic as water, sun, and air. But it's one we haven't learned a lot about. But that's my job to make sure that I change that lack of understanding, because we knew when we put astronauts in space, they had to build into the space suit PEMF devices, or they would come home with virtually no bone. It would all be gone, because without a pulsed electromagnetic field device out away from the Earth where there wasn't a magnetic field, the bones will start to collapse. So I really have to help everybody to know the Earth's magnetic field has been absolutely dropping. And it is now estimated to be down to 0.5, or that's 0.4, or 0.3, depending on who you talk to. And it was once 20 and 30 Gauss, back at the time of dinosaurs. So maybe the Earth's inner iron core that generates the electric fields that start to produce the magnetic fields is cooling. That's possible. And maybe the North Pole F is going to become South Pole. Probably not in our lifetime, but it's clearly making s signs like it's very unstable and going to change. So there's pole shift. Earth changes are going on. And this is another contributing factor to a sense of dis-ease that we suffer as humans today. And we might call it anxiety. And I'm happy to have people do yoga and meditation and exercise and whatever we can do to fight back, but I have done all those things, and I have on my website revealed how many supplements I take, because you couldn't add more supplements to anybody's life than I have been taking. But only when I got the PEMF did I start to get a new prostate, a new bladder, a healthier kidney, a healthier back with far less stiffness and pain, and much less of that nagging numb hands waking me up in the middle of the night called carpal tunnel. So this is serious. The Earth's magnetic field does reverse, usually every three, four hundred thousand years. It's a little overdue now. It's been 780,000 since the last reversal. So it's possible that the aurora borealis that you see at the North Pole may show up in Tahiti or the South Pole if we could stick around long enough, and of course I'm in life extension, 
and at the young age of 76, I'm pretty confident since I know the nutritional and the detoxification and the homeopathics and eat the good food and the exercise and get in the sauna and now I have the PEMF, I'm pretty likely to be around for quite a while. But we see this disquieting picture of birds falling out of the sky dead and we can explain that. And we can explain that the airport runway in Tampa had to be renumbered because it's no, north is no longer where it was, it's moving. So with the magnetic field collapsing, we're going to be exposed to more ultraviolet radiation, more gamma rays, more solar storms. So this is all fact. And these can help explain why some of the birds are dropping. And of course, this slide from NASA is explaining to you that the reason we have a decline in our ozone layer of the Earth has little to do with Al Gore's ideas and a great deal to do with the fact that we no longer have the Earth's magnetic field holding the ozone in place around the Earth. That's why Mars has no ozone layer because it has lost a magnetic field, which it probably had at one time. So we have these different clouds that we're seeing now and we know that the geomagnetic field has a lot to do with how our cells function and that we can actually show that they help regulate the cells and keep us free of some of these cancers for complex reasons because when you have high levels of magnetic field you'll have high levels of transmembrane potential and a more alkaline environment inside of cells. So instead of wasting your time and money buying alkaline water, which isn't going to get to the cell as much as we would like it to, now we can get at the cell, which is where it has to be alkaline. And when I make your cell alkaline with PEMF treatments, it's like the poor man's hyperbaric chamber. You're releasing oxygen because when the cell is alkaline, the hemoglobin carrying the oxygen that is going to your brain and your toes is now released 10 times more efficiently than when you aren't alkaline. So there's a real big story here about why the immune system is going to work better and you're going to have far less cancers because cancer really grows in a low oxygen environment. So this business about helping your immune system is a given because we know when we do these treatments that we are talking about, PEMF, as little as 9 to 12 minutes, 2, 3 times a week, totally affordable, we are changing the membrane potential, raising the ATP level, that's the adenosine triphosphate, that's the level of energy inside of your cell and when we do that, your cell has the energy to start pushing the dioxin, PCB, lead and mercury out, which is why we start out kind of slow treating people because if we treat them too fast, the next day they would be very stiff or they may have a flu-like condition because if we over-treated you the first time, you'd have a release of toxins and most of you don't know that much about my power drink or the zeal gold or the other zeolite and all the high dose C that I live on every day, no less than a minimum of two slightly heaping teaspoons of C giving me four grams twice a day plus methylation support, which is with Beyond B12 and the zeolite, etc. So I kind of can assure you that we can build anybody up who's listening to me to being able to spend more time on a PEMF device if it's needed, because if you're 76 like I am, you don't respond quite as fast as the children who in some cases, as you'll learn today, show a distinct change, improvement in behavior with as little as one treatment. So whether you're talking dementia, depression, mental disorder, all of these are on the rise, but we can assure you that we are seeing amazing results. So we're only as healthy as our cell, and Dr. Pollack is a friend Johns Hopkins, he's really studied PEMF and writes about it, and on my website, gordonresearch.com, you can watch a presentation by Dr. Pollack in which he shows you the different PEMF devices that are out there today, on the med, Beamer, there's various devices, and we like all of them, we have nothing against any of them, it's 
only that one company, the PMT100, actually has been doing enough research to safely develop something that goes up to 19,000 Gauss, but only for a fraction of a second, but it does it in a pulsing fashion that is turning on these stem cells that is why this will heal a fracture that has never been able to heal or get rid of your depression because when we make new circuits in your brain and give you new brain cells called stem cells, we can all expect to get smarter and live longer and avoid this terrible tragedy that if you have some bad genes, which some of us do have, and if you have a parent on both sides of your family that had Alzheimer's, it's pretty frightening. But not to fear. Bad genes do not express themselves, and you don't need, if you have BRCA1, to remove both breasts and your ovaries. You need to know how to have the correct optimal lifestyle. We may, in some cases, even have to do some special gene testing on you, but we can optimize everyone so you know what to eat. Should you be on a Pritikin diet or an Atkin or just the Mediterranean? We can help you learn that, and I do these consultations over the phone. I charge $300 an hour. I record the consultation and send the recording to you so you'll know every thing we discussed and I try to get old medical records on you and we also like to get a release of the medical records and some new blood tests so we can tell you about what's going on with your thyroid and your DHEA and teach you some things. Now this book is on the PEMF website and Dr. Pollock helped put together a review of over 300 published papers on PEMF so that I don't care if you're dealing with lung disease or prostate disease or breast disease or brain disease or bone disease, I don't care where it is, there isn't anything that hasn't been studied that doesn't show clear-cut benefits. So I love the big wheels on the big wheels because I easily go and take and treat a couple of horses. And I want to report that last week, horse number one and horse number two were number one and number two in Parker, Colorado at the Grand Prix jumping event. So I think that we are recharging our horses like I want to recharge you. But we have an office model and these machines sell for the same $20,000. They do the exact same thing. The problem is we have to have an applicator that I can put around your bad hip or your bad knee or your bad foot or your bad neck or your head so I can bring the miraculous healing 19,000 Gauss energy into your life. So electromagnetic has been shown with a lot of studies to be very, very beneficial. And if you start with the early idea that it would heal a fracture that hadn't healed in two, three years and nothing you tried, the bones still never knit together, and you bring in this energy, and now the bones start to send out growth signals, bring in stem cells, and all of a sudden there's brand new bone where nothing happened before. Can you see the power of that message? That means if I just treated nothing but your prostate, there's going to be a healthier prostate. If I treat your head, if I treat over your eye, no wonder people are saying their vision starts to improve. Hearing across the board, everything can start to improve. And we certainly know that Israel accepted the use of this to help cut down migraine headaches. Why? Well, migraine people always have some common features like food sensitivities and toxins. So when we treat with PEMF, I'm helping get the gut to be healthier so it'll be less leaky, but we tell everybody, assume that you're sensitive to gluten and dairy and try to have a rotated diet because the more of my fight program that you get from GordonResearch.com, the more you apply all of what we've learned about healing the bigger the results will be with a PEMF. So if it turns out that you had leased a PEMF for a year and paid $488 a month at the end of a year, you have spent roughly $6,000. So if you sold a $20,000 device at the end of a year to somebody else because you now were in such great health, then you would be selling it for $14,000 and that would go pretty fast on eBay. But my point that I'm making is that there's lots of PEMF devices out there, and we have beamers that sell for three or four thousand dollars. And I have these kind of devices, and I like 
everything that meets a need. Because you see, I'm discussing now wellness. I'm out of the medical mode. I'm, it's easy to fall into the medical mode and talk about cancer, heart disease, autism, Alzheimer's, etc. But the facts are that when the Earth is losing its magnetic field, this needs to be wellness, nothing to do with the practice of medicine. Certainly, it's not going to get covered by your blue shield because they're not going to. That, that would be like buying water for you if you're if you're if you're thirsty. You are thirsty, but you're thirsty for magnetic energy, and the Earth has taken a large amount of it away, about 99% decrease. So this is restoring what the Earth took away. This is not a new, med wonderful treatment for cancer. This is allowing your body to use your God-given right to choose good diet, good supplements, to allow your body to heal itself. But you're operating with a handicap. You're like you are in a serious basketball game, but you've had to have one arm tied behind you, or baseball game. We can't play with an, when we've been limited, and the earth is limiting you the same as tying one of your arms up and expecting you to win in baseball or basketball. It's going to be difficult. You're operating with a handicap. So I'm trying to teach everybody how the handicap can be addressed by having magnet spots throughout the entire planet. And if we realize that people who own such a device are lucky enough to be able to say to their neighbor, I'll give you a free treatment. And if the neighbor says, gee, that really feels better, what will you charge me to take and have another 10-minute treatment next week? And if you say, well, I'm going to take my time, and my machine's costing me money, so I'm going to have to charge you $25, $35, $40 or something, all of a sudden, I can make everybody into a person that is not a healer, but a person that is doing the same as if you decided to bring bottled water to people stuck in a traffic jam in the middle of the desert. You are showing up with what everybody needs, and I'm trying to empower everybody to understand that concept. So yes, we are glad that PMT 100 owner is spending money well over $400,000 doing studies at University of Florida to show that this is a powerful healing device that doesn't just make your pain go away, because that's exciting. I'm getting more people's shoulder well, knees well. I mean, we're getting such dramatic things when I go to a trade show like the um, medical wellness show last week in Las Vegas, or to the Smart Life Forum and treat people. We get feedback that's so exciting. Because now people that were going to give up dancing or they're going to give up golf or give up tennis because something wasn't working, we've made them younger because if you don't have to give up something, then you're fully active and you have a much higher probability of being around for your maximum intended useful lifespan. So we know we reduce the pain from accidents, sports injuries. And of course, when you see some of the pictures we're going to get into, we'll show a few today as a, as a teaser to make sure you come back next week. But when you see the idea that I don't care what surgery anybody's had, there is no condition, whether it's a burn, or we don't care what it is, that isn't going to empower your body to recover faster. Because if you're dehydrated and nobody will give you any water, and you've been in the desert for four days, that's a real handicap if nobody will give you water. And you are the same on your magnetic level as somebody who's been three days in the desert without water. You are very low. So we're going to expect to see a reduced pain, reduced inflammation, better range of motion. You should see the look at one of the physical therapists' face. She hadn't been able to bend her knee back like that in 10 years and after. <laughs> We had, I was at the show, and after one day's treatment, she came back the second day, and it was, it was even better. But the amazing thing is most of these people get these dramatic benefits. It doesn't go away with one treatment, but it's not fair to the body just because we do some magical healing to a bad shoulder or wrist or something. That's not going to allow your brain to be as healthy as it could be when you're 70 and 80 years of age. So we really do need to know that as good as this PEMF stuff is, if you owned a machine, as I do, you would never treat yourself 
for much less than 10 minutes twice a day because if I treat the ankle, I haven't helped my vision that day. And if I treat my head so my memory is good, I've done nothing for my prostate. And so my problem is at age 76, I have so many places that need to be treated between the left knee, the right knee, the right back, the low back, and then the ankle and the rest of it. It gets to be then the kidney, then the liver. So I need the additional exposure so I can get the actual, the maximum amount of aging effect because I'm taking a lot of nutrients, as I freely tell everybody for years. I haven't changed it. It's been on my website. I always tell people exactly what I take. And you can't take more zeolite, power drink, oil, chelation, high dose vitamin C, and even my hormonal support, including everything from beyond GHS, that's my growth hormone support, so that I still have muscles when I'm 90 because people at 90 lose muscles unless they're doing some of these things that I teach everyone to do so that we have all of the women on the herbal remedy from Thailand so the bones aren't melting away because when your bones melt when you get into menopause that's when women get hypertension and depressed because when bones are going away because of menopause you lose bone you release lead and then you have the doctor says, well, I don't know what it is. You've got blood pressure. So they give you some stupid drug, which is loaded with side effects that doesn't treat the cause. So if you want to one day understand how that all works, Mark Houston has written a book about hypertension and things your doctor never told you that there are all the answers, but my beyond chelation has the magnesium and the garlic and the other things and the EDTA. So there's a reason that I'm getting the lead out of everybody. But now with the PEMF, your cells have the energy to really use my oral chelation and my zeolite and my high dose C and my power drink with all of the greens from the sea and the land so that we can show you the nerve regeneration so that something that hasn't worked for a long time starts working in the cerebral ischemia. That means there's not enough blood to your brain, so no wonder you can't see or think. But that's my specialty. My whole life is based on work with chelation to restore blood flow. So how does this stuff work? Well, if you understand what I've said, there would be no metabolism in your body. I don't care how much sugar you have consumed and how much oxygen you're breathing. If I put you in an ohm cage where there's no magnetic field, you are not able to efficiently metabolize oxygen and glucose to get energy. So then I want to make sure that you know when you're using PEMF, we're making the cell more often, not some silly little gimmicky deal that tries to make the water you drink a little alkaline. That's not a bad thing, but for me, I have to take acid water because I don't have any stomach acid, and therefore I don't absorb my nutrients like all the poor people living on Nexium and the Pepsid and these other proton pump inhibitors that are taking away all of your acid from your stomach so you will not get your magnesium, and you will be much more likely to die of a heart arrhythmia or other heart spasm due to low magnesium, and you won't even absorb iron. So people are being poisoned by the drugs which we give because we practice medicine in a hurry. We've got five, six minutes to decide how to get you out of the doctor's office and the next patient in. So we can't take the time to really find out which foods you're sensitive to and when's the last time you had an antibiotic and make sure you get on a good acidophilus like chiodophilus. I mean, there's so much that you have to do if we're going to treat causes. But we can't do that in American medicine because we have a third party payment that says doctors have to get you out of that room in six, seven, eight minutes. And so it's kind of a game. So we do know I can increase wound healing. In fact, I can increase the density of your bones 1% a month. So that's pretty heavy, and it's not just calcium. You never take calcium without magnesium. That's in my beyond any multiple. So when you understand beyond chelation improved is the ideal multiple vitamin mineral supplement for the entire population because it has in it the omega-3, and everybody needs omega-3. But when we take the omega-3, you really need some primrose to balance it out, and then if you're going to live that much longer, you need the amazing phosphatidyl serine ginkgo that I put in it so that you'll have vision and memory when you're 80 and 90. But electroporation is what you do when you add PEMF. This means that you are helping the cell gate open to get 
in these expensive nutrients and you get the sodium to leave and the potassium comes in, that's why the cell gets alkaline. So the mitochondria are truly the body's powerhouse. And that's the only logical explanation for me having been ill most of my life, never able to participate in sports, barely go up a flight of steps without going into heart failure. At age 29, having to close my medical practice and have a massive problem develop, but when I got that eighth IV chelation, I turned into Superman. I could go right up the side of the mountain and we're out the two-year-old Irish setter. So that's because the energy, which we're talking about, and I'm hoping to restore the energy to all of you, but of course, you have to learn that when I give you intravenous chelation, which we've written the protocol that have treated 10 million people with intravenous chelation, and it's been saving lives, canceling needless bypass. No one really needs a bypass, and the stenting is all a complete nonsense approach to heart disease when you can use beyond chelation in adequate levels and adequate levels of vitamin C. But we still have everybody getting those crazy operations because they own the media. And they'll tell you how bad cholesterol is, which is a complete myth. But anyhow, they sell a lot of their statins. And so now we're finding that statins don't just give you a lot of muscle pain. They induce a coenzyme Q deficiency, but interestingly enough, there seems to be an increase in diabetics the longer people are on those useless drugs that American medicine is so good at selling you on taking without ever telling you the long-term side effects. So if you felt good, you would have ATP and you have your mitochondria, which is inside of every cell. And sometimes a heart cell will have 200 of these little motors that were once now believed to be free-living bacteria, but they convert the glucose and oxygen into the fuel you need to, to win the race of life. So the electrical charge is terribly important because the heart virtually never gets cancer because it has a high transmembrane potential, which is the electric charge. It's up to about 120 millivolt. Cancer cells are down to 20. If you were reasonably healthy in your arm or your leg, you'd be around 70. Unfortunately, Everybody I treat seems to feel so much better when I treat them that I'm convinced that most of us are not near the optimal membrane potential, the millivolt current that it takes for you to operate efficiently. So that goes into nuclear fission and how potassium, sodium, oxygen are all involved in maintaining that electrical current that you must have and without it, your cells will not reproduce successfully, you will age prematurely, you'll have no energy, and you'll be extremely prone to the development of cancer. So BEMF therapy is increasing ATP, that's the energy molecule. And it's amazing that we can do that in people, but it obviously will work much better if you start doing a little walking around the block and taking some of Dr. Gordon's basic detox program. But then we know that the entire story about the electron transport chain and how all this wonderful system works to give me the energy I need to do the things, but the common pathway is to convert the nutrients we eat and the oxygen we breathe into the currency of energy called ATP. And now we know PMF also works through nitric oxide. And when any reasonable cardiologist hears that, they should say, well, that's the poor man's answer to heart disease because nitric oxide is an easy way to dilate the flow of blood to any part of your body, whether you're going blind or losing a toe or just need to have a healthier heart. So nitric oxide is a great story. PMF is raising the levels of nitric oxides. And it's also doing some cell-cell communication through calmodulin. But all of that gets more complicated when you start reading about activating nitric oxide synthase, which is why people have gone out and swallowed a lot of arginine, hoping that they wouldn't need to buy their Viagra or they would win the race of life, because arginine could help produce more growth hormone, but not that effective. So I use the Beyond Growth Hormone support product that has tribulus and mumio and some hypothalamic factors that has been a miracle for a lot of people who are finding they're losing muscle.
because when you age, people tend to gain fat and lose muscle. So how is this PEMF working? Well, one of the ways is through nitric oxide synthases, and one of the ways is through calmodulin and calcium, but the big story will be growth factors because I have to increase collagen. And if you're going to have a tough body that can fall down on the street and get up at age 90 and walk away, I've got to have had strong bones. And I said PEMF is making 1% increase in bone density a month. So you might see that using this, I can make most of you into bionic man. So the nitric oxide is a great story, and it ties into inflammation. And the inflammation sets the stage for diabetes. And you have the cell-cell communication that's going on. But when you read why Dr. Matthias Rath, working with Linus Pauling, was convinced beyond any shadow of a doubt that the answer to heart disease was vitamin C, you will understand that it's because the artery, the blood vessels in our body, you're as old as the health of your blood vessels. And the health of blood vessels, so they don't just break and bleed you to death with an aneurysm or stroke, they have to have collagen and vitamin C is the basic thing. So you can understand that as much as I love PEMF, I'm not going to recommend that people pay no attention to the nutritional demands of living on a highly toxic planet while we chose to be here at rather stressful times. So nitric oxide goes into the NF kappa B and all of that will go into stories about how and why when you can control NF kappa B you can turn off pain and cut down the incidence of cancer, Alzheimer, and aging. So the chronic pain and inflammation is a huge story, but I'm getting to the point that I'm going to skip this and save this for next week so that I can tell you the transmembrane potential. We'll explain it more next week, and we'll tell you that PMF is reducing inflammation. And that's terribly important because the research just in the uh, paper yesterday is saying that if you have a high level of inflammation and you have breast cancer, you die much faster, and the cancer metastasizes a great deal more. So we need to reduce inflammation. I do that with things like Wobenzyme and high dose C. But across the board, we always have other causes of inflammation, and that inc includes infections. So if you go to my website and read F-I-G-H-T, the infection you have could be Lyme, it might be chlamydia, it could be a cytomegalic virus, it be, could be XMRV, it could be candida. Who cares? All of us have one of those infections and all of us have inflammation. So it's nice to know that I can recharge the electric charge in your cells to cause a normal cell to be able to handle the challenges of living on a rather toxic planet. So I'll increase flexibility. That's really good so you can still touch your toes when you're 80 or 90. We'll be explaining a lot of these things, why the energy is so low, what we can do to enhance membrane elasticity and flexibility, cell-cell communication, bone movement, because there's so many people that are having orthopedic people selling them a new hip and a new knee and, and telling them they need surgery on their shoulder. Remember, if you see a surgeon, the only thing he knows to do is cut. So you really ought to make sure you've explored fully all my alternative approaches because I would have everybody doing some pretty good nutrition to be lowering inflammation of a joint with things like Wobenzyme, supporting the joint with high dose C's and glucosamine and things like that, and getting some PEMF treatments so you don't wind up walking into these guys and getting somebody synthetic knee put in your body when you're still only 50 years of age and we are now being told by the Wall Street Journal last week that if you're 54 today, you've got to expect to live to 95 or more. But that doesn't mean you're going to enjoy living to 95 unless you have been able to learn what we're talking about. So cartilage and bones and giving you heavy, strong bones so you can be active and do all the things you want to and fall down and not break something. And even if you are a horse, that simple loop put on the chest of my horse opens up his lungs. 
And when I'm treating him, the horse loves it, and he gives me a horse laugh. But if I look at the inflammation on a horse that might be limping a little, the redness tells you that it's inflamed. We treat it with a PEMF, and the redness goes away because we lower inflammation. And inflammation has a great deal to do with every chronic degenerative disease, whether it's cancer, cancer or autoimmune disease. This one link to the Brzezinski movie would depress you if you watch it, but you may want to watch it because it will show you how out of control mainstream medicine has become in telling everybody that any treatment they didn't invent is useless. Because this is a sad case of a young lady, daughter of a policeman in San Francisco, whose impossible brain tumor they first treated with their usual nonsense of chemo and radiation, telling them nothing else could possibly work. And after it totally failed, they finally learned about Dr. Brzezinski, but too late by then, the damage of the chemo and radiation has irreparably damaged the brain. It's a sad story. But it's nice that FDA at least is open enough today that we have approved one form of the PEMF. The one that I'm talking about, the PMT-100, is not specifically approved for anything. It's in a 510K application status. But it's nice that at least there are some PEMFs that are now being used at Harvard and at Stanford and at UCLA, and they're being used in Yale because they actually are shown to be treating depression and anxiety. And if it can help those two brain conditions, they're going to start finding, I'm sure, that it's working as I find in the autism and the Alzheimer's. And so now they have a form of electricity that seems to be as good as all the therapy that Senator Kennedy got for his terminal brain tumor. And it would be a lot easier than going through all the surgery, chemo, and radiation that they give people that when they know it's going to fail. If they tell you up front that you're going to die in six months or nine months, do you really want to have those six months wasted with therapies that are not going to extend your lifespan, but are going to the taxpayer, your Medicare will pay another hundred or two hundred thousand for you to have all that useless chemo radiation surgery when they know it's not going to work, and then they tell you when you're getting that chemo, whatever you do, don't take any vitamin C. If you look at the data that we have, Cancer Treatment Centers of America proves that when you see them and they add the alternative integrative complementary things like nutrition to the program, maybe yoga, meditation, exercise, whatever, they always are beating the results you get in mainstream cancer therapy. So maybe what would happen if you didn't do the mainstream cancer therapy at all? Because we know it's just killing you. It's so toxic. In fact, the only cases that I enjoy treating are what we call non-treated cases that have never gone near the chemo and radiation because then I have a body to work with and I can do my PEMF and all my supplements. But of course, everybody thinks, well, it's covered and it's what everybody else is doing, of course, but everybody else is dying with that disease. Look at the statistics before you go into something and think about quality of life. If you're going to die in six months but being on alternative, you would have four months that you could be with your family and do things you wanted to do and not wasting your time tied up in a waiting room somewhere having your brain fried, it just seems to me that we need to have more truth in medicine. So the alternating electric fields are interesting and you're going to hear more about this next week and we're going to tell you more about why this pulsed electric field is so exciting and cases like this lady, Karen, who for nine years was stuck in the wheelchair and with Gillian Bray, that's place a lot of people stay. But somebody told her about PMF. She took one of the treatments. She said, I'm a little too weak to go back and forth to the doctor two and three times a week. She says, I'll just lease one of these machines. And so at the end of about two months, she walked into church on her own power. And so we do know that we can help MS. I've always had my own protocol for MS, and it's always been pretty easy. I have not failed to stop MS, but now with PEMF I can reverse MS. So if it's depression or brain problems, it's kind of interesting to know that this ties amazingly enough to blood flow. And because I was kind of the father of chelation therapy, but I want to get now known as Dr. Detox, because I want everybody to know my passion is for you to make sure your loved ones don't go through pregnancy without being on my green drink, my power drink my zeolite, 
my oral chelation because we've got to understand that we all are loaded with toxins. There's no exception to that rule. And if your daughter is pregnant, the body will use the baby to get rid of the toxins. So the baby will have, on average, six times more of the poisons that are in the mother unless you give me a year or more, preferably two years, to be on a total program. But the PEMF can change that and make it all happen faster. And I would. That's the one contraindication is we tell people if you have a pacemaker that we can't put the PMF directly over that pacemaker because the older ones are not insulated and they might have to be reset. But we also say we don't want to take the liability since we're using PMF successfully in the treatment of cancer, which is why Dr. Papimi in Greece devised the first version of what we now call the PMT100. It was used for cancer, and so if it's going to get rid of a tumor, some people say, well, maybe the body thinks the baby is a tumor. So some people are going to say, uh, uh you can't treat pregnant lady. But if you know how many toxins would have gone out and how intelligent the body is, if it was my daughter, I would have her read, study, and decide for herself. But I would certainly go in the direction of getting the toxins out so that she wouldn't have a baby that comes up with the autism. But we can also help if anyone's vaccinated, please don't let anybody vaccinate it without being on the ideal, most powerful vitamin C that I've been able to devise, bioenergy C, and using the vitamin C stick on the urine test to be sure that the child before it's vaccinated has the highest achievable level in the urine. So we'll get into these slides next week and teach you more about depression and teach you more about some of these very interesting things like stem cells. You don't need to go off to China, India to buy stem cells. Your body makes them every day. All we're trying to do is set the stage with PEMF and good nutrition and toxin removal to make your own stem cells more successfully. This young man on the right-hand side at age 18, having been born with cerebral palsy, later got vaccinated, so now he had cerebral palsy and autism. At age 18, the school said he would have to be institutionalized because he would never be able to string together a single sentence, never. That day, the mother goes into the office of a chiropractor who was smart enough to buy a PMF and offer it to his patients, and that young man, in six weeks, was a totally new man, able to amaze the whole school, actually make a presentation. So light is another part of physics. And so it's good to get it out in light. And we've all been told, don't go in the sun. Well, that's kind of negative thinking, because I will assure you the benefit of being in some sun is far exceeds the so-called cancer risk. And all skin cancers, basically, are entirely curable today with what we call the eggplant cure. It's a book. You can buy it. So skin cancers are not a big deal. You have to buy stuff overseas, of course. But they will send it to you, and you can have it. But Alzheimer's is helped. And you can see this coming right out of Danbury, Connecticut. And you're seeing improvement in short-term memory, judgment, and reasoning, as well as improved energy. But the detoxification is where I want to take all this. I want to raise your ATP so your cell can push the toxins out. I want to tell you that just sleeping on the pad that Dr. Bonley at Magnetico Sleep offers, we see an increase in the excretion of things like lead because in a magnetic field, the lead and other things are not held as tightly to the tissues. And if I have you on oral chelation, which I have everybody who's my patient on oral chelation every day of their life, preferably two packets of nine pills a day called BCI, and my power drink at least once a day. But we worked with Dr. Kobayashi in Japan. We eliminated, in 10,000 people, 10 years, we eliminated cancer. You may want to learn how. I'm asking you to learn how to recharge your life. We know that PEMF will reduce pain and reduce inflammation, increase range of motion, stop muscle loss after surgery, enhance capillary, accelerate nerve regeneration. There's hope yet that you won't have to continue to go blind with your MS or other conditions. Now, at this point, I'm going to ask Dr. Kim Schunkweiler to be, say a few words so that you can see what this amazing Detroit-based chiropractor who's been very active in his local rotary has been doing 
with this kind of device because we're going to let him really tell you some of his experiences next week. Dr. Schunkweiler, welcome to joining our webinar. Well, thank you, Dr. Gordon. What a pleasure to be with you this evening. I, I, I'm going to show a picture so people know that the top picture is the patient in your office, three, three years, no help. The next picture is a patient in your office with a nasty, nasty hole in the foot. And we only have the halfway through the treatment. You saw the patient yesterday. The hole is gone. So I just want to have you take the next several minutes and tell people that as a busy chiropractor, who's well-trained in things like homeopathy, you've gotten so busy because of the successes you are turning out with PEMF that you hardly have time to tell your patients about adding the homeopathy and the nutrition because you're swamped. So tell them a little what's going on, Dr. Schumpweiler. Well, thank, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been crazy around my office since, uh, since I got the PEMF machine back in... Uh, uh, April 1st, as a matter of fact, um, just to give you a little background on how I w uh, uh, was introduced to PEMF, it was actually through you and your website. Uh, unfortunately, I lost my son last year to cancer, and I uh, was trying everything, going everywhere to try and find a, uh, a uh, something that would help him. And um, unfortunately, he, he was stage four when we found him, and, and just there wasn't much we could do, but I did able. I was able to find your site, and uh, I started learning about PEMF when uh, you started talking about it back in January. Correct. And uh, I, I felt almost directed to uh, to get into doing this. And uh, since I've started, it's just been amazing. Uh, from the very first patient I treated, uh, I I started calling it my miracle in a box because the results were just so absolutely. I don't know, mind-boggling things you just wouldn't expect. <laughs> well, the amazing, the amazing thing is in talking to you, you know, in any treatment that we have, there's always got to be some patients that just don't see anything and they drop out right away. or something. You know, We call them failures. You don't seem to be seeing the patient failures. You just seem to have a, a group of patients in your area that, that doesn't make much difference. The conditions you're looking at are as diverse as any general practice could be, from skin to brain to injury to, to diabetes, it seems you're seeing everything. I think what's happened is over the past uh, maybe 50 years uh, in building automobiles, they've uh, taken the Detroit area and taken all the magnetism out of it, and now, we, now we're starting to replenish it. But. <laughs> <laughs> as it says, it's true. As it, turns out, as it turns out, the different areas on the planet may be a little bit different than the other. I mean, 0.3 and 0.4 is the Gauss level than for many of the areas that are tested. But it would be interesting because the Detroit area, you are clearly finding a group of patients with diverse conditions that any city will have. Just rattle off some of what you're seeing. Autism, et cetera, just rattle off so that everybody tunes in next week so they can really let you expand on the exciting life you're leading since PEMF came into your office. <laughs> well, I'm anxious to tell everybody about what we've experienced because uh, I, I, I had a nurse in the office the other day and I treated, I've been treating her a few times and she was, she's doing so well. She says, why isn't this in every hospital, in every doctor's clinic in the country? And I said, well, if I have anything to do with it, and I'm, I'm sure if Dr. Gordon has anything to do with it, there will be before long. <laughs> <laughs> well, the need, the, the need is great. But, but I, I like that story. The child with autism with one visit actually then goes out to eat with the parents and for the first time has not got that picky appetite with that only would eat crazy foods. I mean, weird things with one visit. Oh, it was unbelievable. I was actually at, at a uh, chiropractic convention over, on, over in Kalamazoo last month, and I took my machine over, and I, st I started treating uh, doctors and, and their, their, their family, and a doc brought his grandson over, who's you know, nine years old and severely autistic. Uh, it was a Saturday morning. Uh, they brought him over, sat him down in a chair. Held, they actually had to hold him down. We had to hold the – I used the butterfly loop on his head. I treated him on his head for six minutes, and then I took it and I put it on his liver for three minutes. And uh, I said, bring him back tomorrow, and we'll, we'll treat him again. Well, the next day, he, he's standing by his mother, and I looked over and kind of looked at him and smiled, and I said, Alex, good morning. His name was Alex. And he looked at me, came over, and he shook my hand. Well, what? <laughs> oh, wow. He, 
He sat down in the chair, reached over, grabbed the butterfly, and put it on his head. <laughs> so I started treating him, and I turned to the mother. I said, what did you notice? She says, well, we went to lunch. He ate everything on his plate for the first time in his life. We went to dinner. He ate meat and potatoes for the first time in, the light, in his life. All this kid was eating was chicken nuggets and chocolate. That's why I treated his liver. <laughs> and then she said he slept through the night for the first time in nine years. And it scared her to death when she woke up that morning because... Uh, <laughs> her child has never slept through the whole night. Oh, yeah. But it, it's so amazing, and I'm so glad you mentioned the liver because I want to become known as Dr. Detox, and I'm, I'm so glad that you mentioned that because, you see, everybody thinks, well, if you have autism, the problem's in the head. Well, yeah, it starts in the gut. Everything starts in the gut, and the liver is yep. the source of so many of these toxins. But I'm, I'm going to let you just really titillate everybody so they tune in next week. and not, I'd like you to tell the case of the disappearing tumor that comes in and just has a little problem walking. I'd like to talk a little about that. The, the, I'm sorry, the one with the uh, oh, foot? The, yeah, exactly, the, the limp. Um, the, the picture that you just put up, Gary, I'm, I want to make sure we're talking about the same okay. patient. No, no I, well, I, there, there was a patient, I think, that was kind of limping and it was thought they had a brain tumor situation. Oh, no, no, this patient actually had brain, brain cancer. That's what I thought. <laughs> yes, and I started, she couldn't use her left foot. She was exactly. walking with a cane. I started treating her, and within about three or four treatments, she noticed that she could start moving her foot. Now, and, and she could move it very well. Now, she was in my office yesterday, and she had got the results back from her scan they did last week. And the doctor told her all the tumors they were following, she said, she, the word was, all that's left is a shadow. Wow. And she's only been in she's only been in your care for about six weeks. Coming in well, two probably and probably closer to two months. I think I started two. here not too long after I got my machine. And, and she's come, and she's coming in two and three times a week. No, she's coming in maybe twice, but once a week primarily. Wow! And when she's in, uh, she she knew when she came in that she was hoping to help with the limp. She didn't come in and say, "Can you cure my brain cancer?" Well, she, she came in, I think it was just the opposite. She came in because her daughter's a patient of mine. And oh, she was talking okay. about it. And she didn't expect the limp to go away. She, <laughs> she, she wanted to help with, you know, whatever. What the first thing that, clear, that helped her with was the depression. She was very depressed. All right. Okay. And, and the depression lifted tremendously. And then her color came back. Her, smi her voice got stronger. She became a different person within several weeks after I started treating her with the PEMF. The, the most, it's, just, it's just absolutely the most, like I say, it's a miracle in a box. So that patient, were you mainly treating the head with the butterfly or what were we doing? I treated the head with the butterfly and I would, I'd like to switch the treatments up. I would sometimes treat her first with the mat, have her sit on the mat, treat her whole body. Uh, I would treat the central nervous system, have her sit on the loop. I'd put the loop around her neck. I'd, I'd use the large loop uh, sometimes and have her move it around her head. I uh, would take the butterfly and put it on her head. So you know, I'd like to vary it from from treatment to treatment, from visit to visit. I love that. That's really exciting because that's what I'm telling everybody is that I think that this treatment, as powerful as it is, if I'm treating my nose, I'm not going to get my toe healthier. And if I'm treating the toe, my nose isn't going to get that much healthier. So I'm so glad you talked about that because the average person, you know, they they come in and they have an owie in that left knee or that or the hip or someplace, and that's what they're going to focus on. And and I'm so glad that here you have a person with a known brain tumor, and you're saying the whole body's going to have to be treated. If the body isn't healthier, Absolutely. if I can't make this body more alkaline, the cells will become more alkaline, and you're almost giving her the alternative to putting her in a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. That's what I think is partly what's responsible for this dramatic situation. Did we ever hear a name as to what they thought was the type of tumor she was fighting? I, I think it was a glioblastoma, but I'll I'll verify that and have it for you for next week. But well, this is uh, going to you know, be being, being a chiropractor that I wasn't yeah, too but, concerned with what it was. I was just concerned with treating her and trying exactly. to get her body as better as as we fast as we could. 
So, uh, so, so you've you, you've had this this you you've only had the machine since around April. For April first. So you've had April and May, and now we're into June. So you have had in a short period of time. I think you said your practice is about doubled. It's at least doubled. I would. I, well, because. I, yeah, yeah, I. Yeah, yeah. Just like this, just like this brain tumor case, that would never come to you if the mother hadn't said, "You better go and see this guy. He's changing people's lives." <laughs> people, people are. It's it, It's amazing. The people won't leave the leave my waiting room. They leave. The, <laughs> they leave my treatment room. They go out there. and They have to tell everybody about how good they feel. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's it, it's it, it's really put the fun back into practice. We're having. I'm having so much fun. After losing my son last year, after going through what we went through last year, you know, financially I was in pretty bad shape. My my I was depressed. The PEMF cleared my depression up. It's given me. It's put the joy back into practice for me, and it's giving me a lot more than uh, I've been give, able to give my patients at this point. Well, now, now you can sit there, and virtually whatever walks in the door, you can say, "Well, I've got nothing to lose, and we're likely to help you." <laughs> so well, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. If a person's got, if a person's heart is beating, <laughs> they can probably benefit from a PEMF treatment. That's exactly that. I'm so excited about this confirmation, and today I've been laying the groundwork, and so next week I'll cover a couple more of these slides that I kind of glossed over today to set the stage, and then we're going to have a real chance to have you kind of present to this listening webinar audience a little more upgrade so they can start to imagine what would happen if this became widely available. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much for joining us today, Doctor. It's been a great pleasure having you, and we look forward to next week a much bigger participation by you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Gordon. We encourage you to browse Dr. Gordon's website, which is www.gordonresearch.com. Dr. Kim Schunkweiler's website is schunkweilerchiropractic.com. The products that Dr. Gordon has formulated are available through Longevity Plus. Please visit our website at www.longevityplus.com or call 800-580-7587 to place your order. We value all of you and thank you for joining us today.